Bianco Plastica I has been held in the renowned collection of Milanese doctor Alessandro Passare for over three decades. Having been on view in the Museo Marga until very recently, this painting now comes to auction to benefit the Passare Foundation. An early supporter of the Italian avant-garde who famously instated a policy to treat artists free of charge, Passari became known as the Doctor of Artists. With his office in the heart of the artistic quarter Brera, he developed close relationships with some of the greatest exponents of the Milanese art scene. He was a close friend with Piero Manzoni, Enrico Bai and Lucio Fontana, among others. Standing testament to this unique position within the post-war Italian art world, the walls of his apartment in Via Colonna were covered with masterpieces by some of the most important Italian artists. Post-war art of the 1950s and 60s was characterized by a response to the horrors of the Second World War. This generation of artists pioneered a new creative vocabulary, centered on texture and material tension, and opened up a new territory for artistic expression. Having first trained as a doctor specializing in tropical diseases, Buri served in the army as a medical officer. Indeed, it was not until his detainment in an American prisoner of war camp between 1944 and 45 that he began to develop artistic ambition. It is therefore of no surprise that the critical literature surrounding Burry's art is often filled with medical illusions, in which the gaping holes in the plastique are described as the skins of so many flayed souls. In this light, it is easy to assume that a sense of violence and aggression runs throughout Burry's practice. From the torn and stitched burlap rags of the sacchi, the fractured and broken surfaces of the creti, through to the ferocious flame and molten topography of the plastique. However, many of these works can just as easily allude to the act of repair and healing as much as they invoke pain and suffering. Just as a flame can inflict a wound, it can also cauterize it. Burry's early medical training thus finds expression in these works by simultaneously evoking wounding and mending destruction and creation.